We thank you, great man, for your sacrifice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Good morning, saints. Amen. It is communion Sunday. Hallelujah. How you feeling this morning? You feel all right? Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have a praise on this morning? Hallelujah. You have a right and a reason to praise him because you're here on today. It could have went another way. But God saw fit, amen, to let us live on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This morning we're coming, amen, with our invocation to my own elder Milton Allen. Our responsive reading is coming from my own elder Leon Johnson. Amen. 
come on, y'all know how much it is a blessing to be in the land of the living. Somebody went, laid down last night and didn't get up this morning. Somebody got up this morning, hallelujah, but didn't leave the bedside, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. God has been too good for us to act like he hadn't done anything for us. opportunities of this month, November the 7th, 7th of 2021. There's no greater act of worship than giving God all you, please. Continue to join us during this our praise and worship experience. Each Sunday morning at 11 a.m. on Facebook Live or dial the conference call number at 712-770-5561. Using the access code seven three seven three six, excuse me, seven oh six pound. Sunday morning worship may also be viewed to you viewed on YouTube following the worship experience. Amen. Please join us for Bible band on Wednesday night at six thirty p.m. on Sunday on Sunday school on Sunday evening at six p.m. The conference call number will change on November the 16th to 667-770-1669. The access code will remain the same, 736-706-POUND. Mm -hmm. There will be no Bible band on Wednesday night due to the National Virtual Convocation Please view the convocation services on Facebook Live, Kojic.org, or YouTube. Two, please, please continue to bless this ministry by giving your tithes and your offering and your pledge. May you bring your gifts to the conference office by 12 p.m. today. To our live stream viewers and members, you you may also bless the this ministry using Gipify, Cash App, and mail your gift to Take Temple to P.O. Box 193, Archidelphia, Arkansas 71923. Thank you for supporting our building fund project. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Need your support. The Kojic of uh, 113th Virtual Holy Convocation will convene November the 10th through the 16th. You may view the live stream conference, the live stream service at kojic.org or, or you too, or Facebook Live. 
Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds you plant. Amen. 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 Very true. Join us for the annual Harvest Day Sunday morning, November the 22nd at 11 a.m. Please plan to wear denim or khaki for this worship service experience. The Arkansas Second Women's Department Prayer Journal has added our prayer time on Monday and Wednesday and Thursday morning at 6 a.m. The prayer hour remains the same on Monday at 7 p.m. Tuesday from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Every 15th minute of the hour, please dial this number, 605-475-4000, access code 493-646-POUND. Missionary Wright has provided copies of the Prayer journal, journal Schedule and the National Holy Convocation Schedule. Please pick your copies from the, your, please pick your copies from the check or table. Don't count your years, make your years count. Happy birthday, blessings to all November birthdays members and live stream worshipers. Amen, happy birthday. Amen, and many, many more. May our special day be filled with love, joy, and peace and happiness. An inspirational thought for today. God's power can transform any of us into the best version of ourselves. He sees the best in us, even best in us when everyone else sees the worst in us. That's a song, y'all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have a wonderful week as you allow the best transform mold and make you into the best you. Have a blessed, blessed week. Um, this is a card from someone. It says, the kindness of others is a genuine reflection of the kindness of God. Your words have comforted us. Your support has strengthened us. And your love has sustained us. The Lord bless you because you have shown this kindness. First, Second Samuel 2 and 5. Thank you. We appreciate your prayers and your thoughts. The family of Sister Clady Dixon. God bless everyone. Bless the Lord, saints. Amen. The Lord ain't got a place right there. Hallelujah. Listen, amen. If you love the Lord, won't you say hallelujah? If you don't, don't say nothing. If you love it, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a blessing to be here on the day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I got a little overwhelmed when my wife was going forth because I was praying in the shower this morning. And I got to thinking about everything, amen, that God has brought my family through. Amen. Testimony after testimony. Amen. And it was nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. God has been so good to me and my family. I don't know about you, amen, but he's been good to me. Hallelujah. Amen. I encourage you on the day. Amen. If you don't pray for anyone else, amen, continue to pray for your leaders on the day. Hallelujah. They need it more than you know. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what's going on, amen, always pray for those that pray for you. Hallelujah. Saints, it's time for the word of God on this morning. Amen. If I am correct, there were five Sundays last month, right? So we have not heard from our pastor in a month. Or did he speak the first time? I'm not sure. But it's been a while. Yeah. Amen. And this morning, we will hear, we'll hear from our leader on today. Amen. Are you glad about that? Yeah. Amen. I'm excited to hear him on today. We haven't heard. We hope he's rested. Amen. And ready to give what God has given to him. Amen. So after the praise team has come forth, amen, we ask that you will stand and welcome our leader. Yeah. Amen. Superintendent Leroy Williams. Amen.
Hallelujah. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you are not ashamed this morning, you ought to shout glory. I say you ought to shout glory. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that I am ashamed of. I'm ashamed of the ways some of our government officials are conducting themselves. I'm ashamed of that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm not ashamed. I say I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I own it anywhere. I stand up for it anywhere. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Father God in heaven, give me the menu for today. God, you give me the menu. I'll serve your people. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout glory.
We still have hope. We still have hope. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. And I just thank God for his goodness. And I'm going to get into my word here and get out of the way. Amen. So we can move on to the Holy Communion. Today is the day that we take time out to remember. To remember. Sometimes we are easier to forget. And a lot of the world, people in the world today has forgotten about what Jesus did for them on the cross. Matter of fact, they don't even care. They're not even concerned about it. But I never want to forget what Jesus did for me. He went to the cross. He gave his life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because well, if you think about it, that's supposed to be me and you accepting the punishment of death on our life. But because of Jesus, because of the sins of the world, because of the sins that we commit, Jesus went to the cross, paid the penalty, gave me an opportunity, praise God, to get forgiveness and live for him. Amen. So there is hope. There's still hope. No matter what's going on in the world today, there is still hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. We look at the condition of our world today, our nation today. As I oftentimes mention it, the bitterness and the fighting and the infighting and the hatred. Amen. All of this is going on. Can't stand one another. Backbite, pulling each other down. All of that's going on right now in this world. We're living in perilous time, in dangerous time. But if you're a saint of God, you have hope in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hope in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us hope and faith is tied together. Hope and faith is tied together. Right. Hope is the sustenance of thing. Faith is the sustenance of thing that is hopeful. Amen. Whatever you're hoping for in Christ, amen, have the faith, amen, that it's going to come to pass. Amen. It's tied together. Yeah. Amen. Faith is the substance of that hope. Oh, yeah. Praise God. From generation to generation, there have been people who live a life time thinking there is no hope for them. Yeah. There are some people who have given up. Yeah. They've thrown in the towel. They've thrown up their hands saying, this is it. There's no hope for me. I'm going to end it right now. Yeah. And they commit suicide because they what? They lost all hope. Oh my God. Amen. But you will never hear of a real, true saint yeah. committing suicide. Not a real true saint. Why? Because you got hope in Jesus. I said you got hope in Jesus. Now you may have somebody that pretended to be, pretending to be a Christian, a saint, and they take their life. If they take their life, amen, you know that wasn't a real saint of God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Jesus gave his life. Why should I take mine? All I have to do is just live for him. Accept him. He promised to never leave it nor forsake me. So all I have to do is have hope and call on him in my time of need. Hallelujah. They live in the days of Jesus and even before, and there are many still living now who believe that because who they are, because of who they are, praise God. Hallelujah. A lot of black people have just given up because of the color of their skin. Everything is against me. There's no hope for me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I got news for you today. If you're listening, there's hope in Jesus. Because of who they are and the unholy living that happens in our life, in our world today. The unholy living unholy living. If you live in unholy, praise God, where is your hope? 
who do you have hope in? Yeah. They may not expect the devil to come to your rescue. They may he comes to your kill and to the destroy. They yeah. remember Jesus came that you may have what? Life. And have it how? More abundantly. So put your hope in Jesus. Your hope in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That there is, that whole thing, there is no hope. There is no hope. If I would look at someone that I felt that had little or no hope, praise God, over 2,000 years ago, the first one I would think of would be a leper. The one that had leprosy. Amen. The one that had leprosy. Back in that day, over 2,000 years ago, they didn't have a cure for leprosy. No cure. If you got leprosy, amen, just go ahead and prepare for your funeral. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. They had no hope. Praise God. I said they had no hope. Leprosy is a contagious skin disease. Contagious. Causing serious and permanent damage to the body. And then leprosy is kind of like cancer today. But they tell me if you get treatment early enough, you may be able to live through the cancer. But leprosy in that day, there was no hope. No hope. Hallelujah. Permanent damage to the body, including loss of fingers. Nose. That's just how bad it was. Cancer worked somewhat like leprosy. It can be cured today with medicine if treated early. Even leprosy can be treated today. Thank God for his blessings. I said, thank God for his blessings. The only cure, the only cure that they had for cancer in that day, it had to come from me from leprosy. It had to come through God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There was no medicine for it. It had to come through God. Yes. God said, live on. Yes. If the symptom of leprosy showed up in a person, the priest, mm. not the doctor, the priest, Wants to decide if this was leprosy or some other disease. Had to go to the priest. Had to go to the preacher. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Don't, aren't y'all glad today that you don't have to go to the preacher yes. to see whether you're sick or not, to see what you have? Because I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise God. I felt like first lady, praise God, didn't have COVID, but I couldn't tell her for sure. Yeah. <laughs> praise God. I'm not a priest, but I am a preacher. Yeah. But they had to go to the priest. You decide what I have this disease. Because of the need to control the spread of a disease, from which there was no cure. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Even back then, the law required that a leper be isolated from the rest of society. Yeah. Isn't that good what we just went through? We didn't even have leprosy. Didn't even have COVID, but it was out there. And what did we have to do? We had to separate ourselves. And even today, amen, right here, you see the tape on the pews, praise God. Why? Because we had to separate ourselves yes. because of the COVID. Yes, amen. Yes. But we have hope yes. in Jesus Christ. Yes. In Jesus Christ. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. They had to separate themselves from the rest of society. While thus excluded, lepers were required to wear a mourning clothes. We don't wear mourning clothes, but we wear masks. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. It's nothing unusual now to see somebody with a mask over their nose, their face. It's not strange now to see somebody with a mask on. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, that was a time there were certain people that were having problems respiratory problem, and sometimes they would have to have a mask on. Uh -huh. 
and you didn't think that much about it. Uh -huh. Every now and then. But now look at us. Mm. Try and look at each other. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. We all masked up yes. because of COVID. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said they had to wear mourning clothes. Well. Leave, leave their hair in disorder. Because you've been diagnosed with leprosy. Yeah. There were certain clothes you had to wear. So people recognized that you had leprosy. Oh Your hair had to be messed up a certain way. Oh so people would realize that you had oh leprosy. Oh Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Couldn't have your going to the beautician getting your hair fixed like my wife today. But it had to be messed up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. Thanks, and if you can see some of us sometime, even today, we probably could, you know. Uh -huh. You have the leprosy look. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The heralds in this order, they covered their mouth. We least we're doing that. They covered their mouth and cried. When they was out, if they happened to be out, if they was on the street with their clothes, leprosy clothes on, their hair messed up, praise God, with a mask on, when they saw somebody coming, they, man, they had to holler, unclean. Wow. Unclean. I got leprosy. I'm unclean. Praise God. See, sin, is, but leprosy was like sin today. Amen. If everybody that was still in their sin business had to meet everybody and say, I'm unclean. Because if you're in your sin, you're unclean. You had been cleaned up by the blood. You had been washed in the blood of the Lamb. So you're unclean. The thing is, you don't have to holler and cry out, I'm unclean. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God you don't have to do that. Even though you're in your sin, you don't have to cry unclean. If you did that today, walking the street saying unclean, unclean, <laughs> amen, you're going to get somebody's attention. That's it. And they want to know what's wrong. That's it. That person walking by unclean. Uh -huh. I'm not going to get close to them. That's it. <laughs> but that's what they had to do. Amen. They had no hope. Amen. They hollered unclean so everyone could avoid them. Everyone could avoid them. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And then look at how, how, how things are repeating itself. Come on, come on. We don't have the leprosy spreading like that, but we have the COVID spread. Mm -hmm. yes. And we're going through some of the same steps. We're covering our faces, our nose. Hallelujah. We're staying away from each other mm -hmm. as much as possible. Mm -hmm. We just really started, you know, kind of mingling again. Uh -huh. Amen. That was a time, I, you know, I couldn't even hug my grandchildren. Amen. Amen. Couldn't even hug my daughter. Yeah. Because of what was going on. That's it. Uh -huh. But we didn't give up hope. That's it. That's it. Our hope is in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' day, there were many lepers and they were shunned by family. By family. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready for the holiday, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And we know last year, praise God, you couldn't even come together with your family. That's it. And some are still not getting together this year That's it. because of it. Yes. So the lepers, they had to stay away from family, friends, and all who would come in contact with them. If anyone even came close to a leper, the leper was to call out that they were unclean. For warning sign. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, I'm unclean. Don't get close to me. Thank you, Jesus. But look at Jesus. Jesus' hands are still stretched out saying, come unto me. Yes. Even you unclean in your sin, yes. he's saying, come unto me, yes. and I'll clean you up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make you whole. But there was hope. There was hope. 
I hope they knew nothing of. But there was hope that was coming. Thank you, Jesus. Coming down through 42 generations, hope was on its way. Deliverance was on its way. Amen. But they had no hope at that time. They hoped, they hoped beyond anything they could comprehend. They, they couldn't understand. Some of them were blessed to come in contact with the only one who could deliver them. The only one that could deliver them. They were blessed to come in contact with him. That was Jesus Christ. And you are blessed today that you're able to come in contact with Jesus. Even though he's gone to be with the Father, but he left and sent the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. And you can come in contact with him through the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew 8, 2 and 3 said, And behold, there came a leper and worshiped him. And worship him. Amen. Even the leper recognized Jesus. Yes. And he knew he was supposed to be getting close to anyone. But when he saw Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. See, when you see Jesus. Yes. It's all right to approach him. Yes. It's all right to talk to him. Yes. It's all right to touch him. Yes. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. The leper came and worshiped him. He didn't come saying, praise God. Praise God. First right off. Lord, help me. Lord, heal me. But the Bible said he worshiped him. He worshiped him. Glory to God. See, when you cry out to God with a sincere heart, with a repentant heart, God will hear you. He will come to your rescue. And we worship him saying, Lord, Lord, if thou wilt, Thou canst make me clean. Yes, yes. If it's your will, I know yes. you can't see. That, that see, faith has already was on the leper because he saw Jesus coming and he came and worshipped him. He already had faith in what Jesus could do for him. But he put it this way, if thou will. That's why we have to pray, God, your will be done. If thou will, God, heal my body. If thou will, God, bless my family. If thou will, God, cover my family. Always put it in his will. I said, always put it in his will. Glory to God. Because you can't make God do anything. But when you put it in his will, praise God. And Jesus put forth his hand. Jesus just put forth his hand and touched him. See, you're supposed to touch a person that was unclean, that had leprosy, but hope had made his arrival. Jesus had showed up on the scene. God's son, the one with all power in heaven and in earth has showed up and he was doing the will of his father. Say yeah! yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. He put forth his hand and touched him saying, I will. Since you put it in my will, if you put it that way, he said, I will. It's in my will for you to be clean. To be thou clean. Hope, be thou clean. And the Bible say immediately. Immediately. Right then. The leprosy. Man was cleansed. Because the healer. The deliverer. The savior. The master. is over everything. Every disease. Every illness has made his arrival, and he's here, so hope is here. All you have to do is just catch up the faith and believe Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel my help now. I feel them do that. Glory to God. That's one touch. That's all it takes. It's just one touch. 
one touch from Jesus and everything is going to be all right. Just one touch and the incurable disease left and he became clean. Just one touch because you are unclean, because you're in your sins. Just one touch from Jesus and your sins. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God can be cast out of you with one touch. Jesus healed many lepers in this day. Praise God. We at one time were all unclean. We all were unclean. We all were sinners. We all were sinning. We all have sinned and come short. We were all in the same predicament, but because of the one touch by Jesus. Hallelujah. We were all unclean, lost, without hope until we met Jesus. And if you hadn't met Jesus, praise God, there is still hope, but you got to meet him first. Let him clean you up. I said, let him clean you up. Praise God. Just going to church won't clean you up. Just putting your name on the road won't clean you up. Praise God. Bathing in T-Rex won't clean you up. Thank you, Jesus. Singing in the choir won't clean you up. Serving on deacon board won't clean you up. Preaching the gospel won't clean you up. And take a touch. One touch. For Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Praise God. Sin is like leprosy. I said sin is like leprosy. It eat away at the flesh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Until it destroys you. Thank you. Sin will destroy you. I said sin will destroy you. Praise God. Hallelujah. It'll bring you down. It'll bring you down. It'll turn you against family. It'll turn you against friends. It'll turn you against your spouse. It'll turn you sin with it. Hallelujah. Praise God. But there is hope. Tell somebody there is hope. There is hope. All you need is a touch. Jesus, he can make you whole again. Oh, yes. Woo, glory, glory. Oh, and one touch of Jesus.
because somebody prayed for me. I'm still here today because of the love of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He didn't turn his back on me. He didn't shun me. When I called him, Woo, one Thursday night, hallelujah, glory to God. I said, one Thursday night, I called him. I said, save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Woo, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And when the Spirit came upon me, hallelujah, I got light. I got drunk. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just one touch from it. Everything will be all right. Jesus wasn't afraid to come in contact with the lepers. He's not afraid to come in contact with you today. I don't care how much sin you are committing. I don't care how much sin you are committing. Never give up hope that Jesus can't touch you and cleanse you up. Hallelujah. He wasn't afraid. He wasn't afraid that they would defile him. Even though that was the that was the law. That was the you didn't you, you, you didn't touch on you didn't touch people that had leprosy. But Jesus. Look at Jesus. I'm in control of everything. Every disease. I'm in control. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the thing about it, Jesus did not have a vaccine against leprosy. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Praise God. He was God's son. Yes. With, with power yes. in his hands. Yes. Oh, yes. See, when you got power over things. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. See, you got power over your automobile. It's not going to move. You can sit there for now. Unless you use your power to get in it, yes, sir. turn the ignition, yeah. and crank the engine, yeah. it'll be sitting right there. Yes, Jesus had power over the disease. Hallelujah. He came to seek and to save. I'm closing. He came to seek and to save. I'm not through, but I'm closing. He came to seek to save that which was lost. Yes. He came seeking, looking for it. Hallelujah. All of us that was filled, discovered our bodies in whack, covered in sin, Jesus came seeking to save. We that was lost. Hallelujah. He was a friend. You know, sometimes, sometimes we, there are certain folks we just don't want to associate with. We don't want to get close to the homeless. Hallelujah. You might want to be honest with me. Amen. Sometimes they stand on the corner, sitting on the corner when you give them something and you're afraid to roll your glass down. I take my hand out there and they grab it. I would put something, but I, I'm, not, I'm not rolling my woman down. But Jesus wasn't afraid to come in contact with the lost. And we said we got Christ in us. And we have the power of the Holy Ghost in us. Amen. We're afraid to approach certain folks because they don't look right. They don't look like us. Amen. 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 Yes, yes. 
they look like a criminal. But Jesus just reached out and touched. Knowing what he had, the leprosy. You remember reading about the 10 that had the leprosy? They asked Jesus. Jesus told me, go show yourself to the priest. And when they were on their way, they were clean. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. And he got to the priest, but they were just on their way. Hallelujah. And one of them stopped looking at his son. Examine himself. Woo, hallelujah. Go to God. See, when, when Christ cleaned you, you already examine yourself. To the things that I used to do. The sins that I used to commit, I don't commit them anymore. The places I used to go, I don't go anymore. The way I used to talk, I don't talk that way anymore. The way I used to lie, I don't lie anymore. Examine yourself after Jesus touched you, and you will see the difference. The man saw the difference. He saw the difference. My hands look different. Glory to God, hallelujah. I don't feel, my body feel different. Even though he had the same old clothes on, leprosy clothes on, mask. But when Jesus told him to go show himself to the priest, something happened under the dirty clothes. Something happened under the mask. The healing took place. Hallelujah. You may have the sinful clothes on, but when Jesus touched you, I remember Bishop, late Bishop Dale Powell said they were, praise God, having a baptizing service. They was on the river. And now on the river, in the swimming area, there was all kinds of people out there, women with bathing suits on, you know. Hallelujah. And he got to preach it, and she got caught up in that service, even with her bathing suit on. Woo, hallelujah, glory to God. Something got a hold of her. Hallelujah. See, you don't have to go home and change clothes. You just accept Jesus wherever you are. Whatever condition you're in, you accept Jesus. Hallelujah. And he told me to bring her here. Some of them said, she, she, she got a she got a baby that's an old bishop. Bring her here. Even yeah. in her baby that's a bring her here. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, thank God, God, he know your heart. Yeah. He know what you've been doing. Right. He know what you're doing right now. Right. And praise God, if you get convicted, I don't care what you got on. You get convicted. God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outward appearance. People look at the outward appearance, but God will look on the heart. God saved her in her babies. Jesus is on the throne. There's hope. As long as you got breath, 
in your body, there is hope. Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus, God, do it right now. In Jesus' name. Now, God, we pray that you will bless our giving of today. Those that have a desire to give, but just didn't have it. God, we pray that you will bless in a lighter way and help us to have at the next word they call. These blessings are we ask in our son Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Turn to someone and say, There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. Hallelujah. There is hope. Do you believe that? If you believe that, praise God. Tell them again, there is hope. There is hope. God bless you, saints. Thanks for worshiping with us. Thank God for uh, visiting.